Here come the teams. The two teams come in this afternoon to the Shea, looking for Barclays League Division 4 league points. Three points at stake to the winners. Burnley riding high in the fourth division. will be looking for three points to consolidate their promotion push. Halifax Town, line seven from bottom, looking for three points to push them towards the middle of the table. A good atmosphere building up at the Shea. Burnley's travelling support almost 4,000 this afternoon, swelling the gate at the, at the Shea. The two teams, I'll start with Halifax Town. Number one is Lee Bracey, two is Billy Barr, three Alan Kamara, four Dave Evans, five is Stevie Richards. At number six this week, Chris Lachetti is replacing Dudley Lewis, who is ill today. At seven is Tommy Graham, eight Steve Norris, nine is Ian Joria, ten Nicky Richardson, eleven Mark Ellis. Substitutes this afternoon, Jamie Patterson and Russell Bradley. I'll now run down the Burnley lineup. Number one is Andrew Marriott, two Paul France, three Joe Jacob, four is Steve Davis, five John Pender, at six is Andy Farrell, seven Steve Harper, eight John Deary, nine John Francis, ten Mike Conroy and eleven Roger Eli. The substitutes for the Clarets this afternoon at twelve Mark Gates and fourteen Graham Lancashire. Looks as though the teams will stay as they are with Burnley kicking off. The Burnley support getting behind their team right from the kickoff. Safely played back to Andrew Marriott for an early touch. Two full backs, Paul France and Joe Jacob. This is France on the ball. It's a free kick awarded to Burnley. Early pressure from the Clarets. Looks as though for John Deary to float this ball into the centre. We're looking for the likes of Roger Eli to get on the end of this. Deary floats it in. That's an early chance to find save. Well, what a start to the game. A flying header from the Berlin centre forward and Lee Brace had to be alert there. First minute of the game, and the Halifax goal under pressure already. The left footed centre, looking for the flick on, cleared by Halifax. That's a good ball there, will he get to this? It's just too far. Yeah, Halifax throw in. Halifax have to weather the storm early on, as Burnley attack the Halifax goal, looking for an early lead. Billy Barr looking for Steve Norris down the line. Norris left it all himself, there's no support for him. Barr left for it to Richardson. Tommy Graham gets it wide to Alan Kamara. 
Mar with space to bring the ball forward. Aims it to Jory. It's cut out by the Burnley full centre half, but Tommy Graham looks towards Bar. He won't keep that in. The pitch looking in excellent condition again at the Shea. It'll be Joe Jacob with the throw. Plays it short, will get the ball back. Forward towards Roger Eli. Eli's pace will be a test for Chris Lachetti this afternoon. Has the ball gone out? He's managed to keep it in. It's well played by Eli. And he wins the throw. No, he doesn't. The linesman of judges, it'll be a Halifax Town throw in. Dave Evans' first touch of the ball lets him down. Be a Burnley throw in. Be a deep throw in. And this time it's a Halifax free kick. The push, I think it was, from Mike Conroy. Conroy, the forward, enjoying a good start to the season at Turf Moor. Started his apprenticeship at Coventry and then he spent five years playing in Scotland for Clydebank and St Mirren before returning to Reading. Now he's at Burnley and knocking the goals in. Mark Ellis in a toss all there. And another free kick awarded against Halifax. Of course, Burnley's hopes will rely heavily on John Francis, the ex shea man. Extremely quick and talented forward. He'll be looking to get his name on the score sheet this afternoon. This should be Lee Braces. He collects it the second attempt. Steve Davis getting a second bite at the cherry. <laughs> Alan Kamara gets the ball back off Dave Evans. Mark Ellis. Steve Richards forward looking for Jory. Played too far. And Andrew Marriott trying to let the ball go, but it wouldn't. And Jory have pressured him, and Marriott had to concede the throw in. <laughs> Alan Kamara looking to Ellis. Ellis right footed shot over the bar. 25 yarder from Ellis, trying to catch Andrew Marriott unawares. But the keeper had that covered. I'll bring in my co commentator now this afternoon. No judgment on this afternoon's game. Obviously, a tough game for Halifax against this strong Burnley outfit. A lively start by Burnley, but uh, I think Halifax, you know, there's a lot of time to go and I think they can get into the game and we'll just have to see how we go. Burnley supporters in the CLS stand this afternoon getting right behind their side. Of course, the best travelling support in the fourth division. Joe Jacob on the ball. Was he foul there from Lucchetti? Referee says play on, this is Danger Halifax. Mike Conroy. Has he won the corner? Referee Mr. Dawson gives the goal kick. Some quick forwards, Burnley, Eli, Francis and Conroy. All prolific marksmen, and on the bench they've got Graham Lancashire who can also score goals. So the Halifax back four this afternoon, or back five as they're playing three centre halves will really have their work cut out. Jory F and John Pender. John Pender wins the ball. John Francis extremely quick, gets the bit off Kamara. Kamara, and that's a corner kick. I wasn't sure if Kamara had got the last touch on that, but referee Mr Dawson says he did. 
Second corner then to Burnley. Played six minutes of the game. Halifax nil, Burnley nil. Burnley having most of the advantage. Another left footed centre, cleared by Kamara. We swung in again, looking to the far post. Heads going there, Lee Bracey will collect. In fact, was under pressure. And the referee gives a free kick against the Burnley forward, who was a judge to have pushed Lee Bracey as he tried to collect that ball. was a foul there on the injury. Burnley of course in their familiar away strip of all yellow. This afternoon Halifax, blue shirts, white shorts, as usual. Dave Evans has Graham and Joriff to aim at, with Steve Norris looking to get on the end of it. Here is Joriff, loses out. Tommy Graham, can he get to that? He can't, but he's... Quite willing to let the ball run as he knows his side have won the corner kick. With Billy Barr, the long serving Halifax fullback, a product of the youth team, to take this corner. Dave Evans upon this occasion looking to get a telling header in. Barr swings it in, Tommy Graham jumps, Graham header just goes wide. Did Norrie have that covered? In any case, the ball goes wide. Norris could, just couldn't get a touch on that. But the first chance for Halifax this afternoon. <laughs> Steve Harper wins the throw for Burnley. Taken by John Deary. Deary leaves it for Joe Jacob. John Deary gets it back. It's a poor pass to Joe Jacob who slices his kick. The Halifax throwing. Very much like a home match of Berlin this afternoon with their support. And the Burnley followers are ah, letting this, their team know that they're here. Oh, he has a, oh, it's just run too far. Mike Conroy trying to get on that through ball. But the turf this afternoon with the rain that's coming down steadily. It just slid off the turf and into Lee Brace's hands. Dave Evans. Towards Mark Ellis. Alan Kamara on a forward run. Was Kamara fouled? He was. Fouled by John Francis helping out in defence. I don't think we can really argue about that decision. Young Chris Lachetti joins the forwards and is pointing where he wants the ball put in. Ellis looks for Joriev. It's cleared only as far as Bar. We have a shot. 25 yarder comes to Richardson. Richardson takes on the full back and wins a corner. Better play from Halifax. Billy Barr's shot, took a deflection, ran through to Nick Richardson, who wins a corner. So it'll be Halifax's second corner. But Billy Barr again to float it in. Mark Ellis goes short, comes to Steve Richards, cleared. Nick Richardson with a shot, just wide. In fact, I think that was probably 10 yards wide. Halifax then coming back into this game after Burnley had opened with a few good attacks. Halifax Town now looking as though they may nip a goal. Yes, Andrew, I think we're going to have to capitalise on these corners because the ball's skidding away when it's on feet. And I think Halifax are just coming back into their game and at the moment it's even Stevens. It is, yeah, end-to-end -end action. Chances going at both, both ends. 
Only typical of this local derby, keenly awaited contest between the two sides. Well, one in the air by Roger Eli. Unfortunately, Mike Conroy was behind him when Eli nodded the ball on, so that attack comes to nothing. Well, half time in the Rugby World Cup final. It's England nil, Australia nine. <laughs> Eli linking up well with Conroy. Kamara wins the throw in. Ever present for Halifax in the left back berth this season, Alan Kamara. Joe Riff wins header, comes to Ellis. Ellis taking on his defender, gets Alan Kamara into the action. Kamara left for a cross. Will that come to Steve Norris? It evades him. Halifax keeping the pressure on. Mark Ellis. Good play from Ellis this time. He's looking towards Billy Barr. He just can't find him. Cut out by Steve Harper. But here's Nick Richardson bursting through from midfield. The Burnley defence couldn't get that cleared, but they have chance this time. And that's offside. Burnley messing about at the back, finally got the ball forward. An offside decision against Conroy. Chris Lachetti. Joria, flick on, cut out by Joe Jacob. Mark Ellis in well. Mark Ellis having a lively start this afternoon, running at the defence. Steve Norris. Steve Norris being told by Billy Barr to take him on. He does so. Will he win a corner? He doesn't. First time Norris in the action this afternoon. Dave Evans with time. Trying to pick out Mark Ellis. It's a good ball. Ellis back to Kamara. Kamara in turn to Ellis. Control lets him down. But linking up nicely, Mark Ellis this afternoon, showing some nice touches on that wing. Linesman said the full ball had crossed, which was pretty dubious. But he was right on the spot. Evans and Barr get in the tangle there. Sloppy defence from Evans. Rather casual and lets Burnley hold the advantage with a throw in. Steve Harper on the ball. Looking to get the better of Barr, he does do. And I think Steve Harper thought he'd won a free kick there. Referee had other ideas and awards, a goal kick to Lee Bracey. It's a free kick for Burnley. Danger again for the Halifax defence. Just leaving Joria for Norris up front. Every other Halifax blue shirt behind the ball. Free kick comes in, headed away from Tommy Graham. As the Burnley Raw goes up again, their third corner of the half. <laughs> it 
another left footed in swinger will Bracey this time again come for this we'll have to see it's away from Bracey headed clear by Lucchetti Ian Joriff will pick it up that's a nice touch to Mark Ellis Mark Ellis in turn looking for Graham Tommy Graham holds the ball up well that's good play from Halifax Kamara ball looking for Mark Ellis that's just too far came out of the defence well then in Halifax but with Joriff and Norris up front they're having their work cut out Burnley often leaving four or five at the back but they'll go up at every opportunity Burnley leave three at the back this time Burnley looking for the opening goal still nil nil approaching the 20 minute mark Alan Kamara with the throw. Forward to Evans. Or rather, sideways to Evans. Loses out. Here's Burnley on the attack. Tommy Graham looking for Jorieff. Ian Jorieff holds it up well. That's a beautiful ball. Billy Barr can't get to that. Cut out by number seven, Steve Harper. Roger Eli. That's a test for Evans. Evans does exceptionally well. Gets the ball back to Bracey. Burnley forwards very quick. Eli, Francis and Conroy. All get on the score sheet for Burnley. And with midfield such as Steve Harper and Andy Farrell, they're always capable of scoring a goal on the break of Burnley. Jorieff, a judge to a foul, John Pender. John Pender, the Burnley captain, vastly experienced having played high division football with Wolves, Charlton and Bristol City. Handball by Steve Davis. Must say no relation to the snooker star Steve Davis. The referee not happy where the free kick should be taken and Dave Evans will have to retake that kick. Very evenly matched opening, halfway through this half. Very few chances, but the team's now settling down, looking for a pattern of play. Steve Richards, that'll be a corner kick if it goes out. Just kept in. Cleared left-footed. Picked up by Evans. Evans bringing the ball forward to Joriff. Joriff played onside by Joe Jacob. Joriff with all the hard work to do, but wins a throw. Jory have seen a lot of the ball again and it's to the likes of him and Steve Norris that Halifax's hopes will be pinned at Evans towards Jory Steve Davis lets the ball run out Richardson with a good header. Steve Norris can't get on the end of that one. But I'm sure he'll have a few chances before the afternoon's out. Lachetti with a back header to Lee Bracey. Steve Richards fouling Mike Conroy. Jacob will take this free kick. 24 minutes gone, still nil-nil. Has to be said, not the best of games up to press.
Burnley faithful not happy about Eli not thinking he's working hard enough to get on the end of that but here are some Halifax players who are working hard Jory and Ellis Ellis to Jory F and eight touch to Alan Kamara Kamara's touch over runs in Burnley on the break Evans forward but Jory F's offside referee let's play on now Burnley have a chance there's no one covering at the back the runners do get back that's a poor centre and Dave Evans will have time to clear Clears towards Joria. Takes it on the chest. That's well played from Joria. Now Billy Barr. Options now for Billy Barr. Looks towards Ian Joria again. Joria with a header. And that goes wide. Good play by Halifax. Billy Barr finding Joria. And again, just starting to pick a bit of momentum up now. Ian Joria with a good header there. Yes, Andrew, I think the game's coming into a period now where we're going to get one or the other that takes the advantage, and at the moment it's Halifax that are on top. That's right, Halifax, seventh from bottom, Burnley seventh from top, but Halifax certainly playing their part in this contest. Joe Jacob keeping the challenge of Richardson. Here's Roger Eli, fouled by Chris Lachetti. And will he go into the book? Well, I think Roger Eli's made a bit of a meal of that. But he is having a word with Chris Lachetti. The Burnley physio will be required. It would be a loss for Burnley if Roger Eli was to go off. A forward who used to play for Northwich Victoria before signing for Bury. Signed by ex-manager Frank Casper in 1989 and is now looking to establish himself in the first team. He's one of the three Burnley forwards that is a regular goal scorer. Appreciate Roger Eli getting to his feet. Danger again, Palifax then. The free kick floated in. The near post headed clear. That'll be a corner. Can they create something from this corner? Has to be said, Burnley not making the best of opportunities from these corners. Cleared most times by the Halifax centre backs, Richards, Evans, and Lucchetti. Let's see what they can do up this time. It's uh, another option played short. Roger Francis battling there. Wins another corner for Burnley. Bit of climbing there that the referee doesn't notice. Kept in by the Burnley forward. Comes this time to Harper. That's a good tackle from David Evans. That looked like Tommy Graham who got the telling tackle in.
Cleared by Graham. They'll come back to the Burnley fullback. It's a good tackle by Ellis. Didn't shirk that and wins the ball with Halifax. Mark Ellis having a lively start to this game, linking up well with Ian Jory F up front. He's had a very good game as Ellis, an experienced player, ex Bradford City. Had a lot of injuries uh, during his days at City, but he's come back and he looks good this afternoon. Uh, here's Steve Norris on the ball, dispossesses the fullback. Norris inside the area, plays the ball back, will come to Tommy Graham. Graham shot over the bar. Well played by Steve Richard, Steve Norris, sorry. Thought he'd have a shot. The ball did in fact come to Tommy Graham, whose shot, shot, I'm sorry, was ballooned over the bar. Steve Richards gets the ball clear. One or two chances created, but none to really test the two keepers, Marriott and Bracey, apart from the first minute header, which did test Bracey. Apart from that, most of the shots are going wide. Quite a lively opening, though, as we're approaching half an hour of this game gone. Burnley this time, it'll be Roger Eli. It's a good tackle coming in. It's well played by Halifax, and they'll get the ball clear. Burnley keep the attack going. Steve Harper trying to get to this. And Barr wins the throwing off Harper. <laughs> Francis, well played there from Burnley comes to Paul France, France in a forward run, gets the ball back, Paul France in the area, it's another good tackle by Lucchetti, Halifax trying to organise again, most of the players behind the ball, and that's deflected off Tommy Graham, and as you can hear it'll be a Burnley corner, supporters urging their players on, Another corner to Burnley. This time it's towards the centre centre spot. Looking for a run. And it's played all the way back to Andy Farrell. That's a shot coming in there from John Francis. Doesn't need a reminder where he started his career here at the Shea. Two or three chances for either side, but as yet, Halifax haven't tested Andrew Marriott out. Jorieth, the push there on John Pender. Jorieth will have to get the full ten yards back. Mr. Dawson instructs him to get back further. Richardson rather gets the ball caught up in his feet. Now will this be a shot coming in? Another deflection and another Burnley corner. Numerous Burnley corners in this first half, but they're not making much of them. The Halifax defence at the moment is sloppy, but Burnley need to capitalise on the corners and we could see Burnley go ahead before half-time. Probably the seventh or eighth corner of the half. Again, doesn't look too much danger for Halifax, but not clear very well again. Mark Ellis, will he win this? He does, he's having a good game, he's Ellis. Richardson finds Jorieff. Jorieff doing the hard work again. Comes to Richardson, to Ellis. Halifax attack, beginning to build up with Mark Ellis. Mark Ellis, still on the ball, he's having a run at the defence. The defence letting Ellis run. Well played by Ellis, didn't have too much support. 
Not the quickest of players these days, of course, after that injury, but his trickery is still there. Dave Evans gets it forward to Richards. Richards the chip in towards Joriev. Get it back, Will Richards. Bout of head tennis going on again. Alan Kamara loses out to John Francis. John Francis, the quick forward, gets the ball to Eli. Eli and Lachetti. Lachetti does well. And Richardson has done well in midfield. Was Joriev offside? The referee said not. That would have been a great chance if he'd have got the ball forward. End to end soft as Burnley attack again. Mike Conrad on the ball, left footed centre. Steve Richards, right footed clearance. Burnley again, swing the ball in. Steve Richards again, it's desperation at the back for Halifax at the moment. Lucchetti with the header. And he was a judge to have fouled Roger Eli. So Burnley looking to dominate this half now. Ten minutes left in the first half. I think a first goal is almost inevitable. They're putting that much pressure on the Halifax defence, but somehow they're holding out. Is Andy Farrell going to have a dip here, I wonder? It's a great save! It was a beautiful drum free kick and breaks it. The second time this afternoon, he's had to tip the ball around for a corner. He's kept Halifax in the game this afternoon as Lee Bracey, of course, on loan from Swansea City. This time, Bracey clears again. Mark Ellis on the other wing is working tirelessly hard this afternoon as Ellis. Steve Norris not seeing much of the ball. Forward to Barr. Dave Evans looking towards Joriev. Can Joriev win this battle? Played back by the Burnley number two, Paul Franz. The Halifax supporters now getting behind their side as they believe they could snatch a goal. The game starting to liven up now for Nick Richardson. Gives Joriev a lot to do. Joriev does well. Steve Norris. Looking slightly out of sorts this afternoon for Halifax. Joriev doing a lot of hard work, but Steve Norris has yet not getting in the game. No, there's no real support, and Steve Norris needs to get a little bit further forward, Andrew, if he's to come on these loose balls that are knocked down to him. Dave Evans, back heel to Graham. Graham didn't have much options on there. That's neat play from Joe Jacob. But not the best off balls. It's substitute for Burnley, number 14, Graham Lancashire, replacing number 11, Roger Eli. I don't know how much Burnley will miss Eli's speed, but Graham Lancashire is an able substitute for him. Francis escaping the attentions, but a judge to have fouled Billy Barr. Referee very much on the spot, not missing all this afternoon, Mr. Dawson. Around seven minutes before the interval. Still nil-nil, but there's been chances in this match. Here's Jory F does well again. Billy Barr, Billy Barr, Norris. Evans, can he keep on side now? They are on side. Oh, no, they're not. It did look from up here that he was on side, but the linesman on the far side said, I think it was Joria. One or two yards offside. Steve Davis's free kick, not aimed at anyone in particular. 
Nick Richardson does well. Nicky Richardson to Jorieff. Jorieff out wide to Mark Ellis. Now there's an opportunity for Halifax. Mark Ellis with a 20 yard shot. Test Marriott, but he wasn't struck as clearly as Ellis had liked. Good to see Mark Ellis, though, get in the game this afternoon. Very much a confidence player, Ellis, and having a good game this afternoon. Tom Graham does exceptionally well there. Twisting and turning from his marker. Free kick quickly taken. Now, can Norris get on the end of this? Relying on Steve Norris's speed there to get in on that case. But loses out. Unfortunately for Halifax supporters, you haven't seen Steve Norris in Boston action this afternoon. He had one chance when the ball was played back to Tommy Graham, whose shot was well over the bar. Richardson, Norris offside. Again, another marginal decision. And I think sooner or later Halifax might pierce this offside trap. Burnley pushing forward, but with Norris's speed, they might capitalise shortly. Yes, Andrew, I think it really is now a case of Halifax have got to get a grip, even though we approach half-time, we need to go away with the advantage. Lancashire keeps the ball in, Lancashire does well, and headed for you. Graham Lancashire, the sub, kept the ball in when I thought it would go out, but that was headed clear. And Burnley again applying the pressure towards the interval. <laughs> and again, Lee Bracey collects. I must say, the Burnley centres from these corners not really up to much. Jorieff doing well. Unfortunately, it was cut out by number five, John Pender. I'll break off there as Roger Francis has got Billy Barr to beat. Francis centres. That's a good chance for Burnley. The flying header coming in. I think it's Mike Conroy. That was a good centre there from John Francis. And it looks like Graham Lancashire got the header in, which was headed wide. It's been the majority of Burnley attacks in this half, though. And Halifax are doing well to hold on to the scoreline as it is. Nil-nil. The game opening up, though, here's Steve Norris. Steve Norris not having any support this afternoon. It's well done by Conroy. Billy Barr does well. His clearance only as far as Jacob. Tommy Graham. Ian Joriath just keeps it in play. He's got Ellis and Norris to look for. Joriath going on his own. Looks towards Barr. Dave Evans, they're onside here in Halifax. Here's Mark Ellis. And the referee has blown up for a free kick to Burnley. It looks like Ian Joriath, but that looked an ideal chance for Halifax. But unfortunately, Mr. Dawson blew his whistle. Manager John McGrath off his seat, not happy with that decision. Will Richardson get to this? He doesn't shirk that challenge, does he, Nick Richardson? Well played by the Halifax midfielder. Richardson does well. And just again, they can't get the ball over the top. Richardson doing very well. Billy Barth towards Joria. And Halifax putting a bit of pressure on. Just before the interval then, can Halifax get a goal? Do you think it's possible then, Mr. Mr. Hurst? Well, we'll just have to wait and see what comes of this particular corner. But I must say that Richardson's really got a grip at present in midfield. And he could be the key factor behind moves in the second half. Number 10, Nick Richardson, beginning to dominate the midfield. 
Billy Barr with a free, with a corner, I'm sorry. That's headed on. Will Joriff get to this? Whoops, and it'll come out. Who's going to have a shot? No one seems as though they really want to have a go. Marriott collects this. Halifax players rather leaving that to one another. And I don't know what Marriott was thinking of there, kicking the ball forward. No, it's only Graham Lancashire up. I don't think the Burnley management team will be pleased about Marriott's contribution then. Halifax, though, matching their opposition now, having one or two chances. Now here's Nick Richardson, beginning to dominate the midfield, looking for some movement. Richardson's going along, Richardson's done doing well again, and again wins the corner. As my co-commentator said, Mr Andrew Hurst, Nick Richardson doing exceptionally well on the Halifax team. Richardson, Ellis Jorieff, all having particularly good games today. Here's Tommy Graham, sent it in. Can they get a goal here? Comes to Richardson, Richardson left foot drive. Flicked in again, and Steve Richards overhead clearance. Can't come 21. Half time whistle imminent then. Halifax nil, Burnley nil. Certainly no lack of chances at the Shea this afternoon. Richardson. This time ball letting him down. And that's the first bad ball he's played this afternoon. But the Burnley supporters beginning to get rather frustrated that their team aren't capitalising the chances, especially from all the corners they've had. Let's see what they can do on this occasion. Again, there's no Burnley support and Halifax winner throwing. The scoreline looking to be nil not half time. I think Halifax will be quite pleased to go in level at the interval. Burnley having most of the possession, but Halifax have got into this game towards the break. Yes, and having said that, they've done well to keep a clean sheet. And uh, we're going to have to sort of discuss it at half time and see what we can come up with in the second half. I think McGrath has got one or two options. Two players on the bench for Halifax. Russell Bradley. The centre back and Jamie Patterson, the young Scotsman. So there are options. And this looks like a booking, perhaps, for a Burnley player. I didn't quite see what went on there. But Mr. Dawson didn't like what he saw, and he'll get a yellow card. Looks like John Pender. In any case, it's a Halifax throw in. Referee checking his watch. Now, can Burnley snatch a lead before the interval? Not with play like that, they won't. And the whistle goes for half-time. Evenly matched, one or two chances at either end. But the two managers have got alternatives on the bench. Obviously, Burnley restricted with Eli's injury. Possibly the two best chances fall into Burnley. In the first minute, the header, which was saved by Bracey. And from the free kick, Bracey again saved. So Halifax will be quite content at the half time. The well, score the Halifax Town nil. Chest Cup final is Burnley nil. Three, Australia
Billy Barr with a throw. Looking for Jory F again. Cleared by the Burnley defender. Now there's a bit of space here if he can find Roger Francis's pace. But again, that's played back to Lee Bracey. Lee Bracey, a very competent keeper. Kept Halifax in the match this afternoon, in particular in the first half. Yes, on loan from Swansea. The three games he's played here at Halifax has looked good. And I think what the Halifax management team will be doing on Monday on this performance is looking at the bank account because he's worth signing. Lucchetti wins the header. Kamara loses out. There's no Burnley runners up front. And the supporters of Burnley want more, want more forwards to go forward at every opportunity. They seem reluctant at the moment to go forward. And a team looking for promotion. I thought they'd have had two or three men up. Now it's Halifax with an opportunity. Tommy Graham to Nick Richardson. Richardson again carries the ball to Jorieff. Jorieff to Richardson. Richardson looking for the ball. That's a great ball to Billy Barr. Billy Barr centres. The cross comes in. That's a better chance for Halifax. It's well played by Richardson and Barr. Dave Evans gets the ball back to Richards. Richards looking for Jorieff. And it's now desperation stakes at the Burnley defence. Obviously, the, the conditions this afternoon slightly dampening the afternoon because it's been quite a good game, but the conditions rather getting the better of the two teams. Yes, the rain continues to affect this game because it's so slippery. You've only one chance to sort of control the ball, and if it's not in the air and brought under initially, then it's difficult to play. Dave Evans with a free kick towards Jorieff. It's headed clear, but not too far. Tommy Graham with a header back in. Now it would be Mark Ellis. Had a particularly lively first half, Ellis. Gets it back to Kamara. Kamara right for his centre. Who's Halifax forward here? It comes out to Tommy Graham. Will he have a dig? 25 yarder from Graham. Charged down and Halifax. <laughs> Defender Dave Evans rushes in there to try and win possession back. It'll be a Halifax throw in. Halifax doing the pressure. Pressurising in the second half. I think if Halifax got a goal, it really would lift the team's morale. Here's Richardson. Richardson does well. But he fouls, I think it's Lancashire. No, it's not Lancashire. But the foul awarded to Burnley. Steve Harper, the Burnley number seven, looking to capitalise on that. Had to be cleared by Richards. I think that's a foul throw, given it. Given the referee says that he. His heel was lifted off the ground, and of course, that's a foul throw. The Burnley crowd incensed about that decision. Richardson winning the free kick. Be taken by Barr. Jory after the target man with a flick on. Will Norris get on the end of this? I think McGrath at half-time will have a word with Steve Norris to tell him to push up further. Did seem reluctant to go as far as possible, but I think the offside trap that Burnley were employing could break down in this half. We'll have to see. Offside decision there. Mike Conroy, the guilty party.
It's a good tackle. And again, McGrath doesn't like that decision from the referee. I have to agree with him. Looks a perfectly fair tackle to me. Graham Lancashire making a darting movement. Come to Conroy. That's a poor clearance there from youngster Chris Lachetti. Halifax fortunate to break clear. Tom Graham. Graham dummies his marker. Tom Graham, the 37-year-old midfielder, vastly experienced. And he's showing that in his forward movement then. Looking for movement by Francis. Francis does go wide. Will it be given it by Paul France? Darling Francis. Hasn't had a lot of space to work in this afternoon, John Francis. When he does have space, he's extremely fast. Be Halifax throwing. David Evans towards Jorieff. Jorieff looking to link up with Norris. It's a firm t challenge at the back. And that was a chance for Burnley. Chris Lachetti gets in the way. What's the referee given there? That was outside the area. Chris Lachetti has fouled the forward. That was definitely outside the area. And the referee is telling the Halifax defenders to clear. Now, what will the referee do here? I think he'll go towards his linesman. He's having a word with Lachetti, the Halifax defender. The Burnley supporters are saying that Lachetti should be sent off. We'll have to see what the referee gives here. I think he has been influenced by the Burnley contingent and it must be difficult for Mr Dawson to give a decision with the Burnley followers calling for Lachetti to be sent off. It will be a card, we're waiting to see if it will be yellow or red. We're now waiting the decision. It will be a free kick in any case, but what card will it be? Yeah. It's a red one. I rather feel that the Burnley contingent of supporters have got Chris Lachetti sent off there. The first time in his career that he has been shown the red card. And the disappointed youngster he must be. Mr Dawson having a word. I think it's Mark Ellis. Is the Burnley forward still down? He is. Halifax will have to defend heroically. They've got all their players behind the ball on this occasion. They've found it difficult with 11 men on the pitch. Now they are really up against it. Let's see if they can beat Bracey on this, this occasion. He's kept Halifax in the game. And let's see what Burnley can do here. and Chris Lachetti I'm sure he can hear the cheers in the changing room and what a sad youngster he must feel the ha yes the Halifax team now will have to demonstrate character because that could be the nail in the coffin for Halifax town poor Chris Lachetti must have heard the Burnley roar and we'll just have to see now if Halifax can get a grip and get themselves back into the game The Burnley followers go absolutely crazy. Mark Ellis on the ball. Being the best player on the pitch so far, Halifax. Can they get an equaliser? Be very difficult for them with 10 men on. But here's Jorieff, 
Join it for the shot. And that was inches away from Steve Norris getting on the end of that. Almost immediately they could have replied then Halifax. It was unfortunate, another two yards and he'd have got an head on that, but we're going to really have to work hard now, Halifax, to get back in the game. And they won't want to lose this one, not under these circumstances, because they've really done themselves justice this afternoon. But Burnley look again like they're going to be in contention for promotion on this display. A very strong outfit, Burnley. First half, Halifax match them. They're up against it in this half. Let's see what happens. Just over 10 minutes of the half played. McGrath again off his seat, not happy with the decision. And I think he's reaching for a book again. Other Halifax players beginning to lose their discipline. It's unfortunate the hard work they did in the first 45 minutes seem to be thrown out of the window in this half. There'll be a booking, a yellow card show to Billy Barr. Another booking, a demonstration that the game's livened up. Burnley are going to be looking for the second goal to kill Halifax, but we'll just have to see whether Mark Ellis, Norris and Co can put something together along with Richardson in midfield and bring Halifax back into the game. Ian Joriath working hard up front. If they get a point this afternoon, it'll be like three for the Halifax team this afternoon. And the Halifax crowd over in the family stand, they're off their feet. Some of the decisions just seem to be going against them in this half. With Burnley's travelling support of 4,000, they can make their opinions known to the referee. And they were baying for Chris Lachetti to be shown the red card. That was the case, and Billy Barr's in the book. I wonder if Mr Dawson is beginning to lose control of this game. It looks again as though he's going to show a yellow card, this time to a Burnley player. And the atmosphere in this local derby is reaching a very exciting point. Kamara by John Francis. It is really a test of character for the Halifax outfit now. Let's see if they can pull a goal back. Joriff with a header. He does lack support this afternoon. There's only Norris up and there's not much to aim at. Nick Richardson with a good header towards Joriath. Joriath uses physical presence to barge past the Burnley defender. And he is indeed barged off by a Burnley defender in the end and wins a free kick. The free kick is about 40 yards out and there's no doubt that they'll have to be float this into the box. The shot here is out of the question. Mark Ellis and Dave Evans talking on what, which is the best option Ellis to Richardson Richardson to feet it's Steve Norris Steve Norris twist and turn gets it to Richardson Richardson forward to Joriath Joriath on the edge of the area turns his cross is blocked and now there's a chance for Burnley the Halifax defence are nowhere in sight Mark Ellis gets back Mark Ellis has done a wonderful job for Halifax Mark Ellis really did show how valuable he is in, this, in the Halifax side this afternoon. He had to chase back a full half and he has saved his team from going 2-0 down on that occasion. Oh. 
And really that was well played by Mark Ellis. Certainly denying Burnley of a second goal. Yes, he certainly uh, kept Halifax in the game there, did Mark Ellis. And showed that he's still got pace when it's needed. Despite the terrible injuries that he's had over the years and experienced in his days at City. Neat football by Halifax. Norris can't find Ellis this time. This time Lee Brace will have to clear. I think Halifax beginning to show at the back. They're suffering the loss of Chris Lucchetti. The forwards of Francis and Conroy. Breaking clear and looking to kill Halifax off. John Francis. His ball's cut out by Kamara. Kamara to Norris. Norris turns well this time and lays the ball back neatly to Graham. Graham shows his neat skill to Kamara. Kamara has to clear. Didn't have a lot of time. Graham to Ellis. Mark Ellis to Richardson. Richardson looking for some movement. Has to play it to Barr. And the injury have caught offside again. The Burnley back four, catching the forwards, Norris and Joria, offside frequently this afternoon. <laughs> Steve Richards fouled. I think Steve Richards playing more of a midfield role now. I don't think that's a wise move with Halifax only having three at the back. Ian Joriev. Again, there's lack of support up front. The substitutes this afternoon. Patterson and Bradley. I wonder if Jamie Patterson will get a run out for these last 25 minutes. <laughs> Steve Norris. Joria falls it up. He can't win a free kick there either. Halifax defence losing possession and they don't need that happening when they're down to 10 men. Burnley breaking again, but Dave Evans coolly plays it back to Lee Bracey. I think they're relying on Dave Evans at the back to steady the ship now, down to 10 men, of course. Dave Evans is, of course, the man with the experience at the back. And I think, unfortunately, that Burnley are getting a grip on the game and it's telling that Halifax have only got ten men on the field. Here's Steve Norris. Can he get the equaliser? It breaks to Mark Ellis. Mark Ellis on the ball. Will he have a shot from 25 yards? Ellis looks for support. He holds it up well, does Ellis. Ellis battling well. He's got no support, though, but he does get it wide. Ellis, the man of the match so far this afternoon for Halifax. Centred in now. There's some, there's some plenty of Halifax attackers in the area. Comes to no avail. Halifax applying the pressure, looking to get on level terms. Here's Dave Evans. Your attention, please. Would all Burnley fans seated in the main Skirkin stand, that's the stand opposite the players' tunnel, please stay behind 
for five minutes after the final whistle. Evans to Norris. Burnley again break, this is difficult for Halifax. Two against two. Fortunately for Halifax there was a foot in there. I think it was Tommy Graham. Francis losing out to Kamara. Francis gets the ball back though. Francis with Tommy Graham to beat. Francis beats him on the outside, centres it across. And it's too far for Steve Harper. Burnley looking to kill off Halifax with these swift breaks. A left-footed centre this time, but the accuracy wasn't there and that was played behind. Halifax very much against it in the second half and they'll have to very much counter-attack. It's going against them now, Andrew, and I think with being a man down, they're going to have to look for the long ball, maybe. I know it's not an attractive way to play football, but to me, that's the only way that they're going to get behind the Burnley defence. Tommy Graham does play the long ball this time. Nick Richardson, can he get to this? Francis back helping in midfield. Shadowed well by Alan Kamara. Does a very good marking job, of course. One of the reasons Kamara was brought to the shade last season, he marked Steve Norris out of the game when he played for Scarborough. This afternoon, he's keeping a careful watch on John Francis. Nice again, does well, it's Dave Evans. Tommy Graham, Tommy Graham of course helping back in defence, now that Lachetti unfortunately has been sent off. So Graham Lancashire, he's got Graham to beat, plays the ball forward, will Evans get to this? And that was a dive on that occasion, but again the free kick goes to Burnley. Looks as though Dave Evans, when he played that ball wide, had won the ball fairly, but a free kick given to Burnley. The decision's going against Halifax in this half. The free kick comes in, and that was a foul by Steve Davis at the back. Climbing on Graham. Just past the halfway mark in the second half. Halifax Town nil, Burnley won. The goal coming courtesy of the sending off from the free kick. Beautifully worked and Burnley took the lead. Dispossesses the Burnley fullback and he's won a free kick. The linesman getting some abuse off the Burnley supporters. Didn't look to me as though it was a free kick. Perhaps fortunately won there from Jory. Again, though, as I look into the area, there's only one man to aim at. There's four men around this Halifax free kick, and I really don't know what they're doing. Look very disorganised, there's only one man in the area, joined now by Richardson. There's a load of Burnley defenders back, and I can't see how Halifax will get a goal here. Here's Steve, Steve Norris trying to get on the end of that, comes back to Barr. Barr centres, only as far as Francis who blocks. Mark Ellis turns well, Ellis does well to Barr. Barr with no support, Barr centres. Now a chance for Halifax. Steve Richards is forward on this occasion. But that comes to nothing. 
Poor defence by Burnley and Halifax win the ball back. Ian Jorieff. Now then, what can Halifax do? Up against it, here's Norris. Nick Richardson battling well. Getting stuck in, Nick Richardson. Foot high by Dave Evans, he's really battling. And the referee straight on the spot. There's a foul there from Dave Evans. And that looks like another book in Halifax. Dave Evans will be the man going in the book. The referee doesn't seem to be doing Halifax any favours this afternoon. No, unfortunately, the game in that respect has certainly gone against Halifax. One or two in the book on both sides, admittedly. But today, Halifax have not been particularly popular with the referee. Sixteen minutes remaining. Burnley holding his slender one nil margin. Ian Joriev does very well there. Joriev in a forward run. Joriev holding off three or four players. There's no support again back from Joriev. Halifax on the attack. One must sympathise this afternoon with Ian Joriev. Doing much of the hard work, but not had a lot of support up front. No, he's been very physical, but unfortunately, people like Norris have just not given him quite the support that he needs. Although Norris has had a reasonable game, Johnny F has not had anybody to support him. It's a very true statement. Let's see if Johnny F can get on the end of this. If Halifax player does deserve a goal, it must be in Johnny F. Johnny F and Ellis. Outstanding this afternoon for the Shaman. Here's Joria, but Marriott takes the ball cleanly. Andrew Marriott, very much a favourite with the Burnley supporters. A young keeper signed from Nottingham Forest, previously with Arsenal, and a popular goalkeeper at Turf Moor. It breaks to Francis. John Francis taking on Kamara. John Francis beats Kamara. Now, what's his centre like? It's a good one. Cleared by Tommy Graham. Joriev gets the ball. Controls on his knee, down on his chest. Again, no support for Joriev. The Burnley fullback Paul France attacks. Alan Kamara forward to Norris. Norris not having the best of afternoons this afternoon, loses out. And here's a chance for the number 10, Mike Conroy. But he had elbowed the defender there. Yes, Halifax have played well. They deserve a goal against this outfit because Burnley are a strong side and they've played well enough to deserve a goal and it would be consolation. Richardson can't get the better of that free kick and it's slightly wasted from Halifax, not be a Burnley dead kick. <laughs> 12 minutes remaining, the game slipping away from Halifax. Dave Evans. Norris can't get to that either. And that's a foul there from Tommy Graham. And Tommy Graham will almost certainly go in the book for that as well. Yellow 
card will be shown to Tommy Graham. His tackle probably a tenth of a second too late. And that earns him a yellow card. Much to my amazement, it's a red card. And Halifax are down to nine then. Well, the referee this afternoon has given Halifax no favours. Graham, the player coach, leaves the field. And John McGrath now faces all kinds of problems. Unfortunate, but there's no denying it. That was a desperate tackle by Graham. It's very harsh on Halifax Town, but it was certainly a tackle that didn't look particularly good from here. But one wonders whether it was near enough the Burnley goal to warrant, sorry, the Halifax goal to warrant a sending off. And there's a yellow card to Injuria. Halifax beginning to lose their rag. Well, unfortunately, we've got a situation now where Halifax are down to ten men. You look at the league, nine men, you look at the league position, and what can Halifax do this afternoon? It really is a desperate situation. They do face a stern examination now, Halifax. If they get a pint out of this game this afternoon, it would be quite remarkable. With nine men on the pitch for Halifax and another three or four in the book, Halifax are up against this and have been for the second half. Nick Richardson does well again. And the free kick has gone against Halifax. Some of the decisions going against Halifax, I really can't believe. What do you do? We've got nine men on the field and one must sympathise with the Halifax Town management team. All the midweek training and preparation for Saturday afternoon. But surely nobody could have expected what we've seen here today regard the sending offs to both for Halifax Town and all the bookings. I think there's only been one booking for Burnley. I don't know if that's the case, but Halifax have got two players sent off and face a mammoth task. Francis climbing here, could be another chance for Burnley, it's going to be cleared by Barr. This time says play on. The linesman was flagging on that occasion. <laughs> the Halifax team down to nine men. Finding it very hard to get the ball to Halifax feet. Overcrowded by the 11 Burnley players. Jory F again is the target man. Was he fouled this time? Oh. 
John Francis. The Halifax be strong, but no, it does not side fly against Mike Conroy. Five minutes of the game left. It really has slipped away from Halifax in the second half. The two sendings off haven't helped them at all. And if they do go down by one goal to nil, it won't be a disgrace. Mark Ellis, who has won my Man of the Match award this afternoon, gets the ball to Joriath. Joriath to Richardson. Now what can Richardson do? The 25 yarder is against the Burnley player. Halifax will be caught out now, though. And will Keeper Lee Bracey get to this? He does. Lee Bracey makes a telling tackle. It's well played by Lee Bracey, who has also had a very good game. Well timed that by Lee Bracey. He came off his line, he saw the situation quickly and paid dividends. Lee Bracey has saved Halifax from going down by more than one goal to nil. And has done a good job in the goal this afternoon. <laughs> Halifax with about three minutes left to salvage a point. Would be a remarkable point if they did grab a late equaliser. Don't really feel that it will happen. Kills off Halifax, two minutes remaining, the killer blow sinks them, but you can't deny Halifax the fact that they have been outplayed because they haven't, the sending off of the two Halifax players has restricted them, but what can you do? The score of Burnley's second goal, number six, Andy Farrell. Andy Farrell's volley. Gives Lee Bracey no chance. Halifax trying to salvage a consolation goal. We've heard it this afternoon. Very disappointing for Halifax. Can they get a goal here? Joria's shot coming in. They deserve the goals here in Joria. They've been up against it. Two good goals have to be said by Burnley. But one can't help wondering what would be the case if Halifax had 11 men. No, the goal we've just seen, no disrespect to Burnley, was an absolute cacker. But with nine men on the field, what can you do? The people that remain on the field for Halifax, the players have done themselves justice. But sadly, it looks like an afternoon of disaster here at the Shea. Indeed it does. One cannot fault the Halifax Town commitment this afternoon. Just a shade disappointing. Some of the referee's decisions have gone against them. Another one has gone against them there. Into the last minute, and there may be some injury time, which will be added on by referee Mr. Dawson. Ian Joriath working hard up front, had no reward this afternoon. Will Halifax get caught out again? It's well done by Dave Evans. They're caught short at the back again, but Kamara wins the ball. 
It's the first time that Steve Norris has evaded his marker. The cross centres, but there's no Halifax player there. Burnley on the attack once more. Halifax, two at the back. Lancashire rolls it back, but the referee blows his whistle. One cannot help wondering what the scoreline would have been at Halifax with 11 players on the pitch. The Burnley supporters delighted with their side's performance. The Halifax town followers go home disappointed as the Burnley players salute their fans. The verdict, a disappointing one this afternoon. Commiserations to all the Halifax town players. They had such a good solid start against this strong Burnley side and they leave the field two men down and it must be very disappointing for all concerned. So the final scoreline from the Shea, Halifax Town nil, Burnley 2. Would all Burnley supporters in the main stand please stay behind for five minutes?